If you want to know something about achieving your dreams, ask Dick Sipek. He is an expert at breaking the sound barrier. Dick has been hard of hearing since an early age. All but the loudest of sounds escape him. Betty, Dick's wife of 58 years, was born into deafness. Their lives aren't much different than their hearing neighbors, though. To call, they use their television as a video phone. The speaking interpreter relays their sign language conversations. The doorbell flashes a light instead of ringing. What makes Dick truly different from his neighbors is this 60-year-old baseball bat. Dick Sipek used to let this do his talking for him as a member of the Cincinnati Reds. I played baseball in uh, Major League. Wow, it was just overwhelming and I met so many different people. I had to do my best when I played so, to show them that the deaf can do. Sipek learned what the deaf can do as a high school athlete. He played basketball, football, and, more importantly, baseball for the Illinois School of the Deaf in Jacksonville, where one of the instructors was Luther Taylor. At the time, Taylor was just one of two deaf men ever to play Major League Baseball. On his recommendation, Dick signed a minor league contract with the Reds. Two years later, the 22-year-old rookie saw his dream come true. He made the Major League Club. And he became the first hearing impaired player without a certain unflattering nickname. I am the third deaf ball player. Dummy Hoy, Dummy Taylor, and they didn't call me Dummy, they called me Dick Sipek. Dick was a reserve outfielder with the Reds. He hit 244 with six doubles and two triples. Then his one season in the sun was over. He went back down to the minors. That's the best ball play, uh, ball glove I've liked. I got n many new gloves, but this is the best one. Stiff. Boy, it's stiff. I can't even get my hands and fingers in there now. Oh, I can't get in. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 60 years since that glove was new, but Cypex's memories remain fresh, including a chance encounter with an up-and-coming ball player then playing in the minor leagues, who was out to break a not-so-different barrier. I meant met Jackie Robinson in, uh, in the dugout and he was going to the restroom and I was going to the, ba the field and I met him and I asked him, how are you feeling? And he said, I'm good, good, okay, you know. So he said, keep it up. And I said, you're black and I'm deaf and there's two of us are the same. And he said, yeah, and he took my hands, you know. Some truths don't get old, like when chasing a dream. The most important ability is not being able to listen to others, it's being able to listen to your heart.